Hi, my name is Paul Lotorenko and I'd like to demonstrate to you my PLX multi-gauge setup installed in a Honda S2000. Uh, I've had this car for about eight years now and it's been a fun little project car of mine over the years. Uh, here we're looking at two DM100 organic LED multi-gauges and what I've done with these two gauges is uh, I've designed it to match uh, the look and feel of my stock dash. The top gauge is showing my wideband air fuel ratio and my bottom gauge is showing my exhaust gas temperature. So here we're looking at a couple of the PLX multi gauges installed above my center console. The leftmost gauge is showing boost uh, in a graphical view so that is a plot uh, with respect to time. The center gauge is showing a graphical view as well but it's showing the wideband air fuel ratio reading. Let me actually start it up for you. So there you'll notice that uh, uh, right away you'll get the readings. Um, but what's neat about this setup is I can actually see uh, my ECU properly regulate the fuel mixture with uh, the simulated narrowband signal that I'm giving it. So there, see if you notice, I've revved my engine up a little bit. You'll actually notice that the graph is oscillating and this is a good indication that the closed loop system does work properly and the ECU is balancing and regulating the air fuel ratio to about 14.7 AFR. On my right graph uh, above the DM6 uh, gauge I have it in four parameter view and this is a neat little view where I can actually see the efficiency of my after cooler or the heat exchanger that I have installed. Um, the top reading is actually reading the air intake temperature before the, the heat exchanger. So this is the temperature right after the supercharger. Um, the second reading is the air temperature after the after cooler. So if I subtract the two, I can actually see the difference and how efficient uh, my cooling is uh, all on one display on the DM100 multi-gauge. The third reading is just my engine's oil temperature. The bottom most reading is the water temperature of the after cooler. Here we're looking at the engine bay of the Honda S2000. The S2000 is a inline four, 2.2 liter VTEC engine. I've installed a supercharger. Um, it's running about seven PSI and uh, I'm getting about 300 horsepower to the wheels. It's been a neat little car for me um, where I've uh, had the opportunity to take it autocrossing uh, on a few track day events and uh, the setup's been running great so uh, it's been a fun car. What I'd like to show you here is I've actually got a couple of the PLX sensor modules installed. It's made out of extruded aluminum so um, it's perfectly okay to install this in the engine bay. Everything is just daisy chained together uh, the wires fed through the firewall into uh, my multi gauges inside the vehicle. So it's a neat setup. Um, I've had a lot of fun using it. Um, it's definitely uh, very good for just monitoring the health of the engine as well as um, just uh, having the information in front of you uh, is very useful uh, for me on the road, uh, autocross days, and track days. So that's my setup so far. Thanks for watching.